Hi guys, and uh, welcome to another one of my role-playing game uh, let's plays this time from uh, Konami, or Konami, however you want to pronounce it. And this time it's going to be the classic RPG uh, Sukordin, I think you pronounce it. And uh, I've, this is an exciting one for me because I've never played this one before, like with Star Ocean, which I did before this, I'd uh, never played it before at all. So, this is one that I'm pretty pumped up to go out and play finally. Uh, never played, I don't think I've ever played an RPG from uh, Konami before either. So, you know, I played all the Squaresoft games and like Star Ocean with Enix and uh, Sony Entertainment with uh, Wild Arms. And uh, I even played Breath of Fire for the Game Boy Advance. Which was at uh, Capcom, so. And it also seems exciting because there's a mix of different gameplay elements. I think there's three different battles to this, like you've just seen, like a little battlefield. And uh, there's your traditional role playing game kind of thing. And there's uh, 108 different characters that you can recruit, which is really good. It's kind of unprecedented for RPG games that I've played before this. So really gives you a big scope for uh, getting more characters in. So and a big rousing um, musical score there, just to get us in the mood for fighting some evil. And uh, saving the world, which is what RPGs are usually all about. Hopefully you'll enjoy going through this little journey with me together. I've been looking to do another role-playing game. I I'd finished Star Ocean, the second story. That was kind of unfinished business, as I said before. I'd played through so much of it and never actually completed it. Oh my god. Uh, I'll just have to save state if I can't actually get a memory card to work, but here we go. We'll go for it anyway. Oh, and we've got a name I, this character anyway. Usually you get like a bog standard name, I just usually pick whatever the canon name is. But we'll go for that. Uh, oh no, I'll do go backwards. There we go. Yeah, we're ready. Cat and a duck. Just I've never played this, so the storyline as I go through this one with you, it's going to be absolutely, you know, all new to me and live. Okay, so he's this guy in armor. Tio. <laughs> Alright. And I don't actually know much of the plot points of this. We've, you know, playing it for an emulator, I've not been able to look at the back of the case, or I've not really looked up on this game, just know a bit of its reputation. And the things I've heard have been about, sort of about the game itself and how good it is, not the actual storyline as such. <laughs> Toasty Matt Doll, I like it. Now that's the name for a hero. Okay, so we're the son of a famous general. Is there going to be some kind of invading army? That's usually how things work. Welcome! Feast your eyes upon my manly moustache. Hmm. Old war buddies.
Wind air? I thought you were calling me in air then. Well, that my flatulence is of none of your concern. Yep. Okay. We'll protect any border. No, I'll turn now to talk to the Mustachio Emperor. Yeah, why not? Not doing anything else this weekend. <laughs> No, I don't think we'll refuse. <laughs> okay, Captain Crazy. Eh? No, uh, don't get any ideas, Winde. Don't let just anyone flutter our sheets. Falling so closely behind me. It's a bit creepy, Dad. <laughs> oh, we don't get to go back in. And we get to see Windy once. Who's this? Kazim, maybe he'll be enough for one of the members. Like I said, there's a big cast to this game. 108 characters, I think it is, in each of these games in the series, so... Kind of having a bit of a role in mission, huh? Okay, we're meant to go down here anyway. I'll go through here first. Alright, I'm just talking to you lot first. No, now you're in. Now let's go and talk to this Commander Craze. Oh, he doesn't look very trustworthy either, I'm going to say. He's got a bit of a dodgy name. He's more of a uh, villain's name. Yep. Yeah, he's a butt butt nugget. This guy. All oh, right, ass what? Oh, 
I don't like him. I decided already. <laughs> oh, we're auto going. So, out of the castle, is something going to go down? That Greg Master, Master. Home sweet home, pops. Grimio, is this? Chill out. This is that's a bit worrying, actually. I don't like this creepy manservant. He's a bit too attached to us. So it's a bit of a worrying laugh in the laugh of uh, Torstair. Ah, in fact, what's the, um, oh there we go. So I've only got 17 health. And there's our stats. Wolf Fang Staff and Steel Bar. Oh, we haven't got any runes and we've not really got a formation set up. So you can have, I think, six on the normal, I think, like, from what that's looking like, on the kind of traditional role-playing game battle, I think you can have six people, but there's also like big battles that go on. That I don't know whether that's more strategy elements to it or not. What's he doing creeping about as well? No, so he's kind of like your adopted brother. Yeah, well, the more the merrier. <laughs> Tell me about Windy. I saw quite a few other characters as well, so maybe we'll find out who they are as well. What are you going to tell us? Coming out of the closet, I don't know, it's a progressive society now. No, well we don't know what his, his uh, little secret is. Maybe he's got a third nipple.
Alright. So I don't actually live with it. I mean, it's like a... This guy, Pan. Looks like a Ryu clone. And who's this? Is that a woman? Well, yeah, no. No, it's not. I think it's a man. Hmm. Alright, I'm taking in the atmosphere. Last meal with daddy. We're the man of the house. Just like home alone. Alright, calm down. Making us uncomfortable again. Oh, got our own little badass group already. We got our little best buddy Ted. Well, life can't always be this good. Something's bound to happen. Some evil army's gonna do something. Looks like his eyes are already open. But that's tempting for it. It's not, not as if I'm going to be tragically killed on the border while defending the country or anything. A wake up call from Creepy Housekeeper. Got another member of the entourage now. Uh, Grimio. No one's in here. The first day of hero school.
So it's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy X has kind of got two guardians. Alright, so we've got another two members. Maybe we should go and wake Ted up. Make it a fantastic five for them. No, oh, you miss out on being a hero. We're off. Well, we just tried getting you out of bed. New no could get. Alright, that's everybody. No, I did not know that when you're hanging around outside our house. Surely you would have seen us before now. What's this little house? Maybe she likes him. She looks like she's going to be a character as well. Some kind of party member. Maybe she has some kind of fondness for her oh, dad. There's enough of our father's love life, let's go and find out what. <laughs> Leave the pumpkins. Wrong with being a country pumpkin. Alright, now I've got to find that joker again. Well, let's go and find this guy before the end of this video. <laughs> what was that? They say the real reason for General TL's trip is to put down the rebels. They call themselves the Liberation Army, but they're nothing but traitors. I'll finish them someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep dreaming by the waterfall. No, we ain't got time for that. He's in here, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Let's talk to him and see what he's got to say. <laughs> My next excitement will be putting a foot up your ass. Go on, then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've just not been listening myself. Which one is it? It's either north, west, or north, east. Obviously, it's somewhere on this earth, but I don't think we'll be a wise ass this time. Shit, did he say north, east, or north, west? North, west, I think. North, east! Alright, there we go. Thank you. The Knights of the Dragon's Den. Okay. Flying in style. No, oh, yeah, we will.
Do I say that? I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't like that guy. And he looks like a traitor to me. He looks like an old English villain in one of them old Hollywood historical films. Well said, Ryu. No, oh, be quiet you. No, so we need to find a barn. I'm assuming the barn's gonna be outside, so she are going on about stables. That looks like a barn, doesn't it? Oh there he is. I know there's other stuff to look at, but I'm going to get on with the plot points for now. What a drag. He looks like a young novice dragon there as well. So he's on his own little errand. Yeah, apprentice dragon there. See, I thought he looked like a bit of a kid. Sounds like an elephant. A dragon shouldn't be cool though, it should be epic and deadly. <laughs> Maybe that's his secret, he's actually an old man. So go ride the, the elephant dragon. <laughs> right, let's go. We've had enough light relief. Yeah, right, elephant dragon. It's an elephant with paper mache wings. Oh, that's more the part there. Yeah. No, it looks okay at the minute for a role playing game. Obviously, I've not got into the meat of the game, but. Alright. No, I don't get cocky. Or with GTA or GTA that. I bet there might be some battles here. Yeah, here we go. First battle. Hol Holly boy. We'll just start uh, attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Usually that's all you need to do at the beginning. Yay! I'm not 
some of one gone. That does some kind of sh shrieking attack. And we've got an axe and a staff. So everyone gets experience. So that's what the battle looks like. And we've got a robe. So pretty much the, the usual Defense plus one. Well, he's got defense plus two, so that's not good. Uh, so he's got a robe. I don't know if he's wearing it or. There we go. Because they've got a tunic, a leather coat, and a tunic, so he's got nothing. So we'll put a robe on him, we've got nothing else at the minute. But that set him up. I think this map is going to be pretty straightforward. Fluff! The offspring of Chewbacca now. Or oh, those things off Star Trek. Try and add light relief to this game, will ya? Get back to 60s sapphire. Bits. Not the most impressive name for currency I've ever heard of. Right, all we need to really do is attack. At the minute, shit with the staff. A bit like Killick from um, Soul Calibur. You can see Chuck Shrukins. Yeah, our Ryu, he's punching with his hands, so the similarities to Ryu don't end with uh, his little red bandana. Yeah, so he uses his fists as well. We've already got a sizable part here as well with this six people. Like I said, it's I think it's going to be six people to an uh, a party with this kind of RPG uh, battle medicine. And some more fuzz balls, fur balls. The formation's kind of more or less set up how it should be, with three melee guys at the front and two ranged characters at the back. So it'd be interesting to see what the other characters are that we get later on. Obviously we're going to get some kind of mage and we'll be picking this, some kind of balance later on. Maybe the best thing to go with is like uh, how it is now, but with just one mage in the middle of two range guys at the back. I'm thinking maybe. Well, you never know one range guy and two mages, a healing mage and offensive mage, and uh, a ranged attacker. Might as well just attack all up, concentrate it, they'll attack the next one on anyway. Nope, missed. But so far, it's quite easy. But this is obviously just your learning curve to get you into the swing of things. And we'll get different attacks and all that kind of jazz later on. And I'm really interested to see the other mods but I don't know when they'll come into play maybe that's when we rise to prominence and we actually have an army to lead but that'll be when the plot thickens oh leather coat we went the right way 
So we've got a lot of a... I'm sure that'll be better. Yeah. Slightly better. So there we go. Uh, oh, it's not got anything else. So with the items. We'll go ahead now and give. I'm not over to Ted. Oh, we can't give him the... Well, it makes everybody else worse. So, I thought we'd been in an archer, he might be able to wear the tunic. So, is that her? Windroom? What the? Let's have a go at this golem. It's the thing. I'm fighting for one of the Fantastic Four. Oh. I thought I was going to do uh, the screen pause then. <laughs> Well, I thought he was gone then when it went yellow. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. The Bayou character seems the strongest at the minute. Might as well go all out and attack. And he's gone. So not too bad. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, but straight up to level 5. And him up to level 5, she'll probably got to level 5 as well. So all in all, a nice little bit of exercise. So he should be. <laughs> no, it's just been a test. Tip seat. Right. So, in the next video, we're going to find out what exactly this lady looks like, the seer, and that'll be on the very next video. Thanks a lot for watching, whoever does watch this, hopefully you're going to carry on this series uh, with me and uh, enjoy another great RPG. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.